Hi guys, welcome back to Otter's Garage. Uh, this week we're going to be looking at the buggy and why it didn't start in that last video. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna have to get the engine off the buggy. Uh, I wanna tear it apart. It doesn't seem to be having any compression. Um, a little bit of a spoiler, I did already pull this engine apart and tried a few things, but we'll get into that here in a bit. So first things first, we gotta get the engine off the buggy, which I already started with by Taking the screws off the bottom, just pull these couple hoses off, and the engine's out. So, and when I tore this into the inside of this, I sort of figured out why the head was all tore up like this. Um, that should have been an inclination as to how this buggy was treated. Um, not that it was poor, treated any poorly. I mean, these are toys, and they get treated like toys. So. I'm going to tear it back into this engine. Um, from what I found originally, the uh, sleeve had no um, no pinch left, is what they call it. I did attempt to re-pinch it. This was a very bad idea, and I did film some of it, but I'm not going to show any of it because it was a bad idea. <laughs> so basically, I took a little hose clamp, normal hose clamp, put a couple of them together, and tried re-squeezing it down. Now the problem doing that is you don't get a perfect round crimp all the way around. Uh, so my piston did get tighter up where it's supposed to get tighter, but it didn't end up actually sealing, if that makes sense. It's a, it wasn't a perfect circle. So I did order new sleeve and piston for it. Uh, the part number here was R50, R005. Uh, and this came in, so I'm gonna try tearing apart. We'll try putting a new uh, piston sleeve in it. So normally, when you put a new piston in a sleeve in one of these little engines, you also want to do the connecting rod. Um, but the connect this piston and sleeve was about $25. Uh, another piston and sleeve or another rod would be another $25. I'd be looking at about 50 bucks. I was able to steal one of these Banggood engines and get one for about 50 to 60 bucks, or actually it was, a, I want to say $63 after the tax and shipping. So that engine is actually on its way, but I want to try and make this one live. So we're going to try just the sleeve and, sleeve and piston. If it works, great. Got two running VX18s. I'll just run this one till it dies and then keep the other one sealed and get ready to use it when this one's dead. Or we'll see how this one runs RPM or speed wise miles per hour and we'll get a run with the brand new engine break it in and see how it runs uh, top speed wise so engine for engine uh, another engine I have planned for this buggy that we will try swapping in is this little it's a TRX uh, 1.5 Pro 1.5 some people call them uh, this is a short crank one It came off of a T-Max, um, that electric converted T-Max that you guys seen uh, in the last couple few videos. So I want to take this, we're going to actually swap the crank out for a um, standard crank and with the standard crank I can run the bell and clutch setup that matches with this buggy. Um, and these are supposed to turn, I said, I've seen people say anywhere from 30 to 35,000 uh, RPMs. Uh, compared to these VX18s, they're rated for around 28,000 RPMs. So with the same gearing and the more RPMs, this engine should make our buggy a lot faster top speed. My biggest thing is though, we're going down to a 0.15 from a 0.18. So it'll be interesting to see. But if you guys are interested in seeing that and seeing this engine in the buggy and see if we can get a couple more miles per hour from those extra RPMs, uh, leave a comment, let me know. 
uh, give this video a thumbs up and we'll do that in a future video. I'll get the parts ordered and we'll probably put some new bearings in it, some uh, fast eddy bearings in it. Uh, other than that, this thing's actually got some pretty good compression, so would be a good runner for the buggy. But let me know. Uh, so we're going to get this engine tearing apart and we're going to get this new sleeve in there. Um, I'm gonna, I got the new glow plug warmer, not sure where that went to, here it is. Got the new glow plug warmer, this is a LiPo one, so it should uh, give us consistent voltage all the times, for, so it should be a fairly consistent starting, so we can keep an accurate tune on this, uh, especially with the low speed, to just have it pop right off and idle, uh, like it should, like we'd like it. Okay guys, so now that I got this engine apart, I wanted to show you uh, how things sort of work on here. Uh, so as I've explained in other videos, uh, here's your carburetor. Um, this is where your fuel comes in, right here on this nipple. Your air comes in the center down here, right through the carburetor itself. Um, let's see if we can get a good view down in there with the lighting. I don't think the lighting's going to cooperate. but. You can see here this little lever turns. That's what it opens to allow your air to go down inside. So we get air coming down inside and unlike a normal engine where that air would go right into the, basically the cylinder, it does not go. It actually goes through your crankshaft. And if you look down in there, you can see in the center of the crankshaft, it's actually hollow. Let's see if we can get it focus in there. And this is where your engine comes around. It's supposed to spin around. But yeah, this one's sort of, like I said, I don't recommend doing what I did. <laughs> so, so your air comes in through the center here. We'll get washed onto the crank uh, connecting rod and on the crankshaft, lubricate everything in there. And then your air will actually get sucked up through ports on the inside of the engine and then into the cylinder itself. On this new sleeve, we can see these ports. Uh, you got the camera focus in here. Uh, it's real shiny, so it's hard. But anyway, we got this uh, long port here, which is our exhaust port. We got a little port here, which I believe is called the boost port. And then we have a couple smaller ports here and here, which are actually your intake ports. So let's get the sleeve popped out of this guy which shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Old sleeves out. Now to get the piston out, you actually want, it's counterintuitive, you want this at the very, very top. And then you just pull it off a little bit, dump the engine upside down, and there's our piston and connecting rod right out. So I'm not gonna change out the bearings or go any farther, but this is where you would take the uh, uh, gear, gears off the front, your bell crank, your clutch assembly, your flywheel, and once you got all that off, then you could slide your crankshaft actually right out the backside here. Um, nothing actually holds that in other than these parts up front here. So, the other thing you want to pay attention to, these little connecting rods down at the very bottom here, there's a hole, and that hole, let's see if we can get it to focus, Either way. So that hole is very, very tiny, but it faces the front of your engine, faces towards where your gears and everything are. And that's also where your uh, ring that holds your wrist pin in is facing. 
So that's very important because your piston has a, this hole here on the side to allow some of the gases to go up and into those uh, ports on the inside of the cylinder itself here. Now that we got this together, uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys that's going to be going on this thing is the new uh, THS pipe. Big, shiny, nice, tuned for these. Now it comes with a new manifold that comes off the engine. I haven't opened that up yet. And it also comes with a new pipe that I'm going to have to mount onto the buggy. Um, this thing is going to make this thing sound a bit better. It's supposed to give it actual, a lot better power. And if we got a new sleeve in there or we get that new engine, we want to try and get as much power as we can. I know we didn't get a speed run before with the how it was, but like I said, this engine was pretty beat and it's got a new life now. So we're gonna go from here and we're gonna make this thing just better. All right guys, so I got the engine sort of temporarily mounted on here. Um, as you guys can see, it's on the buggy, but it's not tight. We're just gonna see if this thing runs. Uh, got the fuel lines hooked up. Uh, gonna try and see if we can get it to pop off. Got the new glow plug warmer here. And like I said before, if we do get this thing to run, uh, it's going to be just for real quick and we're gonna shut it off and I'm gonna bring home a temp gun and we're gonna go through an actual break-in process with it since it's sort of like a brand new engine right now. guys it runs so I don't know if you guys can hear that but the clutch is still uh, winding down there so pretty good so I'm gonna get get a temp gun we're gonna get some uh, fresh fuel uh, so it might be a week or two before we actually go through and do this because I don't want to actually use this fuel that I've been using uh, I've been looking into this bones brew a lot of nitro guys use it and run it it's 30% nitro and 10% oil. Uh, but I think this old fuel I have has actually gone through quite a bit and I think it's gotten some moisture into it and that might have sped up this uh, process of losing compression in this little engine. So I'm gonna get it out of my T-Max, I'm gonna get it out of this and we're gonna get both engines tuned up and we'll go from there. So guys, thanks for watching. Awesome to see this thing fire up. I'm really excited to get it to actually go out. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the new pipe, how did it sound, uh, and we'll be back next week. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, we'll see you.